Hey guys, Jody here. Okay, honestly, if you saw me awkwardly standing there for the beginning of this, I've done enough of these where I've ended up with my mouth open and I'm like, okay, gotta get that sorted around. Hey, Andrew, I am so excited to train with you guys today. Make you sweat while you're jumping on here. Tell me where you are coming from. I myself am in Regina. Saskatchewan so you know Prairie Province here so let me know where you're from so we can get to know each other in this next 30 minutes or so hey Elaine can't wait can't wait got your kettlebell okay so if you don't have a kettlebell today I've got some options for you well the real one of the realistic options would be actually a dumbbell so you can use a dumbbell for swings if you want. But I thought I would get creative because maybe you're at home and you're like, eh, I don't have a kettlebell, I don't have a dumbbell. And I'm like, oh, I got you covered. Now, you probably don't have, what I have is like cleaning supplies, um, but you might have some kind of a detergent jug that you can use. And it's great for kettlebell swings. If you are Canadian, chances are you also have some de-icer, right? All I ask is when you swing this, whether it's a milk jug, your detergent, or your de-icer, make sure your lid is on safely because you don't want to have to clean that up after sweating and training with me here today. So I'm just going to wave here quick, 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 quick. All right, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jody. I own Kettlebell Kickboxing Canada. I have a studio here in the Queen City. Welcome to Impact Magazine's Sweat Across Canada workout series. Today it's powered by Decathlon Canada. So they're giving away a prize today. What you gotta do is you gotta follow them. Follow Impact Magazine. I would appreciate a follow. And make sure you comment on there and then you'll get entered in for that awesome prize. Actually, I followed them today. So they look like a great, great place to get a hundred dollar gift card towards obviously or something like that. But we are going to get started. So kettlebell kickboxing is kettlebell, which looks like this with martial arts training. So we are going to get started, but we're going to start with the kettlebell down because we don't always have it with us. And I'm going to start the timer. I know it's one, one, it's two minutes after I'm, I don't want to say I'm two minutes behind. I want to just see everybody, make sure everybody's on again for a quick second. Let me know where you guys are coming in from. Reach out, connect with me. Let me know what you liked about the program, which one you thought was the hardest. Maybe it was super easy for you. I encourage you to stand up. If you're not going to work out with me, stand up and work on some good posture, right? Get some good oxygen in, get moving. All right, so we are gonna get started, which means I'm gonna hit the timer here so we can get going. Hey, Kevin, I'm waving at you there. Okay, so again, thank you Impact Magazine for having me on again and Decathlon Canada for our prize today. Make sure you guys go in and follow both of them follow me and so we can connect after this okay I'm gonna give you guys one minute to get on here because everybody's jumping on it's really great to see everybody we're gonna have a 1 p.m. workout that would be Central Standard Time I'm really working on getting my time zones correct it is a struggle sometimes Saskatchewan people don't if you don't know this about us we don't change time zones like we stay the same I don't know, it's, sometimes it's confusing, but we just roll with it. Anyway, so today, again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. You can use things like this. Get very, very creative. If you don't use a kettlebell and you got creative today, comment in here what you're gonna use. I always appreciate everybody's imagination and how to come up with something to swing. I had a mom's class, she swung her baby. Um, not something I'd recommend. <laughs> she did very well with them, held on tight, but it was all good. Anyways, you guys, we are gonna get started here because it's time to sweat, just in case we have a limited amount of time. I'm gonna set that timer on there. Got my handy dandy little stopwatch, okay? 
So we're gonna start with skipping. We're gonna do 20 seconds here. So when you skip, you're gonna roll. As you can see, I'm rolling my wrists forward, okay? Right here, I'm going from right to left. And all we're doing is becoming present in the room and getting that synovial fluid. It's almost like a lubricant throughout our joints. All right. Then we're gonna stand here. We're gonna interlace those hands, go up. And we're gonna reach to the right. Good. Come back, just in case this is the first time you stretch today. Feel really good. Just take those fingers, unlock them, shake them out. Go back into that skipping motion. But now, you're gonna reverse those wrists. So if you're going this way, now we're gonna move back that way. All right, we're just gonna do this for a couple more seconds just to get our bodies moving. Wake ourselves up if we were falling asleep today. Good. All right, I'm gonna set that down. We're gonna put our feet together. We're gonna circle those knees three times. One way, again, we're just getting a little bit of warm up here. Good, stand nice and tall. So we're gonna do two punches, okay? So we're gonna punch across the body, one, two, okay? And then we're gonna do two jumping jacks, one, two, okay? One, two, we got it. If you want jumping jack, you can go here. But I'm gonna turn the timer on because we are gonna do 30 seconds of work and then I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to regroup and get ready with me, okay, ready? And we're gonna punch. One, two, jumping jack, jumping jack, good. I don't care which way you punch to, just punch. We just wanna get that heart rate up. You wanna go this way first, you can do that. Right here, good. Again, variation of that jumping jack, you can go here. Maybe your knees don't wanna do that kind of movement anymore, but we still wanna get you going. Get that heart rate up and go right here. Last two seconds, good, okay. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth for 15 seconds. Now we're gonna do a combo that we train in my studio a lot. We're gonna do four knees forward. Four knees forward, we're gonna run back and squat. Ready? So knee, two, three, four. You don't need a lot of space. Come back, squat. Now, since we do martial arts motion, we are going to do more of a Muay Thai knee. So I'm gonna drive that knee just as if I would if I was training martial arts. Good, if you want to jump on that squat, if you're feeling ready, you can go here with me. Good, nice job. All right, you guys, ready? We're gonna punch across the body into that jumping jack. We only have 10 more seconds. You can go here, you don't have to stop. Everybody who's standing there holding good posture, make sure you breathe. Ready and punch. One, two, right into that jumping jack. Now, remember, our goal here with that jumping jack is to actually clap your hands. We don't just do it for the sound, we do it for the range of motion. All right? Good work. Blow that air up, get your breathing under control. Good work. Right here. Good. All right. Whew. Breathe. Good. We're good still. Everybody good? Give me a wave. Let me know you're up. You're functioning here. Thumbs up. Okay. We're going to shut this timer off and we're going to take a little stretch. Okay. So now our body's moved a little bit more. We're going to lunge here. We're going to put our hands down on the floor. If you want, you can extend that back leg or leave it there. Whichever you're comfortable with, follow that thumb. Right there, good. Come out of that push up. Maybe you need to use your left hand there. Go back down. As you're doing this, slow your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, hand down, come up. Okay, I'm gonna take you through our MMA hit round. So, we're gonna do kettlebell swings. Now I'm gonna review this really quick, and then we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna build every round. When we swing, we wanna open up that chest. We're gonna push those hips back. When we stand tall with the kettlebell at shoulder height, we're gonna squeeze our butt cheeks, okay? Why do we do this? Well, cause we wanna protect our back and stand nice and tall. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 
Then I'm going to let you catch your breath. All right, so ready, stand tall, forward fold. Let's swing that kettlebell right here, nice and tall. Good, so we have 40 seconds here. We can get to the top of that swing. I want you to blow your air. Two reasons, it's important to breathe and you engage your core and you get into a nice rhythm with your training, which is very important. All right, nice and tall, no back bending here. And you notice the motion's coming from my hips. Good, we got three more seconds. Now when we go to put this bell down, we're gonna take it back, control it, set it down exactly where we got it from, okay? Now we're gonna go into a mid rack. So stand there with your arms here. Good, you're gonna bend your arms. That's a mid rack position. The kettlebell's gonna go from the handle to the horns. The horns are the side of the bell. So it's gonna look like this. One swing, pull it up to here, okay? One swing, pull it up. Ready? Let's go. Pull up, engage that core. Nice work. Here we go, we're gonna build this. Five rounds, that's what we got. Now, when you're swinging, when you're training kettlebell, you are always using your core. That's why it's a great core exercise. We just did our kettlebell heat program. We did it with a kettlebell, of course, this time, which is lots of fun. All right, mid rack last time, take it back. Set it down. Okay, now we're gonna take it overhead into a tricep extension. Make sure the bell you're swinging, you are comfortable taking it overhead. If you're not, go down and wait, okay? Ready, we're gonna start again and go. One swing, mid racket. We're gonna overhead right here. Now things to think about when you are in that overhead press, don't arch your back, so tuck that pelvis under and keep those ribs from flaring out. So you're not like this, right? So you wanna have good posture. Because exercise is injury prevention, performance enhancement. We don't wanna get hurt with what we're doing. Good, swing. If you are using something else other than a kettlebell, make sure you comment so I can go through after. Oh, we're at 40 seconds, but we're gonna finish this one. Ready, good, and rest. Okay, we're doing good. We have a few more seconds, 10 more seconds. I wanna say hi to everybody here. Okay, we're gonna add a squat. Okay, so we're just building. So swing, mid rack, squat. You got this, ready? I'm gonna face you a little bit more here. Swing, pull it up, Shh. overhead, press right here. Get those elbows in, squatting. Now make sure you don't tip over with that kettlebell to get into a deeper squat. Keep that chest up. Okay, good. Lower down. Press up, push through those heels. You're doing really, really good. I think you're doing good. All right, let me know how you're doing. I see lots of hearts there. Thank you, thank you. Nice and tall. Almost there. Good job. All right, finish that squat and rest. Okay, we're gonna add a gorilla curl at the bottom. So at the bottom, we're gonna go here. Remember when I talked about that tipping over part? Don't go here. <laughs> this is not a good place to go, okay? If you have to, come up over to your squat a little bit and do a nice bicep curl. All right, we're back into it. Last round, team. Let's do this. And mid racket overhead. Tricep, then we're gonna go to that squat, adding that gorilla curl. We built a really nice, long kettlebell complex. Good. Like when you move through the day, you very rarely move one body part at a time. That's why kettlebell training is really good functional training and movement. All right, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. We've been training this 40-20, we're gonna take this one all the way to 60 seconds. If you wanna stop, you can stop now. Remember, you can always stop and rest. I don't know what your day looked like, and I don't know what your night looked like, so you have to listen to your body 
and be in charge. Let's finish this. Go here with me. Tricep. Good. Squat. And last one. Come on. Nice job, fist bump. Booyah. That is awesome. Okay. We're going to grab a water. You guys grab a water. Make sure you go follow Impact Magazine. Obviously on, the, on here, you've already followed them. Decathlon Canada, give them a follow. Give me a follow. Reach out to me, say hello. All right, let's do this. We got some flexing, we're flexing there. Let's all flex. It's not Friday, but who cares? It's almost Friday, right? Okay, so now we talked about core, right? We're gonna do some core. So we're gonna go down to the mat. I'm gonna tip this and hope that my phone doesn't fall, you know, flat, because that wouldn't be very much fun. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna grab that kettlebell. I'm actually gonna grab this, right? Let's be creative here. We are gonna do 30 seconds of work. Again, I'm gonna switch my big timer here. We're gonna use this one. So for 30 seconds, we're gonna either hold that kettlebell or whatever object we have. If you have your bell, you're going to mid-rack it right here. Now here's a little bit of a hack. If you're thinking that the bell's going to make it harder, the bell's actually going to give you momentum, which will help you a little bit. If you can come up, that's okay. You can crunch right here without a bell. But we are going to be here for 30 seconds. We're going to start the timer. Ready? I got my de-icer. Let's do this. So come up. Shh. Again, practice that breath work. Shh. Make sure your lid's on whatever you're using. I say this from experience. <laughs> it's usually how I figure stuff out. You know, I've got to do things a couple times, possibly the wrong way, and then I figure it out. But it's all a process, an all journey. Keep going. Really engage that core when you come up. Good. Okay, so we got through that one. Now we're going to sit up and we're going to press at the top of it. So when you come up, press, go around here, nice, tall, long, press the top. I'm gonna get my kettlebell. Okay, mid-racket, let's go. Down, up, good work. Do you feel that core yet? This is when you have to say yes, because if you don't and we're in class, I'll get you to do extra. Okay, right here, good work. Ten more seconds, you're almost there. And up, good. Three, and one. Okay, so with our training, I'm always gonna give you options. You can just mid rack that bell, you can do that same thing where you press at the top, or you can jump on this train and keep it in that overhead press position. So, my favorite thing is, when I train everything, I train everything. So I'm going to do some core and your arms. Breathe, press that kettlebell up. Good, nice work. Thanks for showing up here with me today, you guys. I appreciate it. Look forward to connecting with you guys after. Almost there. And let's go one more up and come down. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna shut that one off. We're gonna fist pump you guys. I feel like we're doing great. Okay. Every once in a while, I throw in what we call a cardio burst. Okay, so just a burst. We're not doing any weights. We are just working on getting that heart rate up. Okay, so today, we are gonna do hands up to push kick. So a push kick, you're gonna lift, push. Like you're pushing down a door, push that door down, okay? Two push kicks, one burpee, okay? If a burpee doesn't work for you because you have a doctor's note or your mama sent me a message, then you can do a squat instead, okay? So we're gonna get going here. We're gonna do this for, let's do, I think we should do 45 seconds. I think we got 45 seconds in us, right? Okay, ready? Hands up. We're gonna push, push that door down. If that doesn't work, you can go to a high plank or a squat. Remember, listen to your body right here. 
I like to add a push up at the bottom of mine. Woo! Ready? Come on, you guys. If you're squatting, you can add a squat there. Good? Maybe you can jump squat there. If you love burpees like me and one of my clients named Iva, you can do burpees with me. Come on, you got this. Five more seconds, I bet you we can get one more round in. Come on, Woo. we always finish, let's finish. Down and up, nice work. All right, so a lot of people message me after and they're like, oh my God, do you have that much energy all the time? I just like to share my energy. I'm really not here all the time. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, now we are gonna do some squatting. Squats are great for your core. There are a lot of exercises other than crunches and sit-ups that are really good core exercise. Example, the kettlebell swing. So we're gonna work on triceps and squats and gorilla stomps, okay? Gonna show you a gorilla stomp. While you catch your breath, I'm gonna show. So you're gonna come down. We're gonna pick up this foot, this foot, and stomp. What I don't want you to do is come up. So think of being in a box. Stomp, stomp, engage here, okay? So, we're gonna build this ladder. One tricep, one squat, two stomps, okay? So you're gonna mid-rack that bell, or whatever you have. Okay, so we're right here. Again, when we overhead here, don't arch. Tuck pelvis under, pull core in so you don't flare and stick out your chest. Okay, ready? So we're gonna overhead press. I'll face you this way. Tricep, work those triceps. Come down, squat, two stomps, stay there. One, two, good, come up, press. Now we got two, one, two. Come here, two squats. One, two, now we're stomping. Good. Come up. Again, rest as you need, water as you need. Reset, restart. I think that was three. One, two, three, now we got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come up. Overhead, one, two, three, you're doing good. Four, mid rack, come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up, overhead, we got five, four, three, two, one. Come down, five squats. One, two, three, four, five. We're stomping. Good. Four, five, six, seven. You feel it? Nine, ten. Fist bump, guys. Good job. Are your quads burning yet? Maybe. I think you guys said no. So we got to do this tomorrow. We are going to. Take the kettlebell by the horns. These are horns when your bottom's up. You can go as wide as you can here, okay? You're gonna squat. This is a horse stance. Keep that chest up. We are gonna hang out here and we are gonna talk about how important it is to sweat, get rid of stress, just get into a different zone so you can take care of your health and your mental health. All right, how are we doing here? Are we burning yet? Send me some flames if you're burning. They must stop this nonsense. All right, I think we're gonna go for eight more seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two. Oh, right there. All right, breathe, grab a water. Oh, there, we got some fire now. Awesome. So you're gonna stretch that out. When you're stretching your quad, most often we go here, it's just normal. Try to point your toes towards the floor. you get a little bit more of a stretch. Again, if you have a wall or a chair, so maybe you had too much coffee this morning, 
I did, but not so bad. And then you can keep your balance, okay? Everybody, put your hands here. We're gonna catch our breath. Focus and calm. Ready, we're gonna inhale through our nose for a count of three. Ready and go. Inhale, one, two, three. We're gonna hold that breath for one, two, three. Big exhale through your mouth. Shh, blow it down. One more time, let's go. One, two, three. Pause, one, two, three. Shh, blow it all the way down. Good job. Okay, let's have another water. All right, I'm out. So we gotta keep going, keep powering through. Okay, so we're gonna come down. We're gonna go into a Tabata round. It's gonna be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We are going to do a couple different exercises. I'm gonna give you some variations before we get started. So come down to the mat with me. We're gonna do a kettlebell pull through. So option one, you go from your knees on an angle, reach across, Go there, okay? Option two, go wide stance here, pull here. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. If you do this, if you're going this way, you're pulling and you're shifting, go back down to your knees, okay? You wanna try to keep it strong because you wanna engage that core, okay? You wanna make it a little bit harder today. You could go into this leopard position right here again, engage so you're not swaying, pull that bell through, okay? That's what we're gonna do for the first 20 seconds. You pick. Now, if you're like, I wanna get in some push-ups today, do a plank throw, pull through, add in a push-up. You do you. If you can do push-ups, I think that's great. I do 100 push-ups every day. All right, ready? And go. Right here. Okay, so there's a variation. The hardest one's gonna be this and this. Back up. Then we can go to our knees. This will be your start spot right here. Maybe you're a wide plank. Good, see, went by so fast. It's done. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that leopard position. No pull through, just a hold. So either here, high plank, breathe. And while you're here, I want you to engage your core. So squeeze it. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. Good. Slow your breathing. Almost there. Good. Okay. Ankle touches. So you're going to be in that leopard. You're going to try to touch. If ankle doesn't work, try your knee. If you're here, you can actually, you can go up into that high plank every time if you want. Okay, I'm going to go from that leopard and I'm going to do cross my knee first. Okay, give me some options here. Maybe ankle. Maybe you're like, that's not working at all. You want to hold that leopard position or that high plank. Good. And rest. Okay, we're back to that plank pull through from either the leopard or the high plank. So you pick. Ready? I'm going to go from that leopard. Pull it through. And it doesn't have to be fast. We want it to be controlled and engaged. Good. Nice job. Seven more seconds. You're going to also feel this in your quads and your wrists. If your wrists are a little, feel a little tight, go here with them. They'll be okay. It might be a different position for them. Definitely you'll feel it. Okay, ready? So we're going to go back into the leopard hold, okay? Hold it right here. Breathe. We're gonna repeat all of these. I switched up the order a little bit, but we'll still do them all. And rest, come here. We're gonna go back into that pull through, okay? I'm gonna do it from a high plank, so you can see what that one looks like, if that's what you're there. Again, go nice and wide. So if the kettlebell's on with your right hand, it's the left hand that's gonna pull it across. Sometimes that's confusing too. And it's okay to be confused, right? You're showing up. Doing the best that you can do and getting in some exercising. Good. Rest. All right. Ankle touches. I'll do it from a high plank if you want to do it from the leopard. Right? So here, you can high plank, reach through and touch. 
Again, you can be in that leopard, just touching that knee. That works too. I always give you variations because everybody trains differently at different levels. So you pick which one works best for you. Making sure you're always challenging yourself, okay? Last plank pull through. I'm gonna do it with the leopard. Ready? Let's add in a push up for fun. Anybody who wants to do the push up with me, come on. I always say you're gonna show up, do the work, make it worth your while. Good job. Almost there. Come on, team, you're awesome. Keep going. Watch that neck position. Good. Let's go right down into that child's pose. Inhale, exhale, just breathe. Good. Nice job. All right, how are we doing? Are we on fire still? Okay. How do we feel here? Wrists feel a little, so circle them, right? Okay, go here. So, whenever you're doing a leopard or a plank, if you find that that's too much on your wrists, you can, you know, we always say stack your joints, but if you can go forward, it takes a little bit of pressure off that, and then you can maybe do it from that spot, okay? We're not done yet, but we are gonna stay down here, okay? So, now, we're gonna do a Muay Thai crunch. So Muay Thai is one of the martial arts that I get to train. So for the crunch, it is the sticky, sticky spot of a sit-up. It's not like when you get up here and you're like, whoo, I made it. <laughs> it's that yucky part like right about here where you're like, oh gosh, I gotta get to the top. That's the part we're gonna train, okay? So we're gonna go down. To find that spot, or if you wanna work on just being there, you can put your elbows here, press up looking up and down, okay? So that is that spot where you're crunching. If you're okay to lift your hands off the mat, your elbows, shh, you're gonna do a little extra crunch right there, okay? Here's the thing. We're gonna do five Muay Thai crunches, then we're gonna do four bicycles. So it's gonna look like this. You can do it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Again, you can use those elbows, and then you're gonna bicycle. One, two, three, four. Bicycles, if those aren't working for you, you can go one, two, three, four, or you can extend that. One, two, three, four. You wanna make it super hard, you're gonna come up every time. One, two. I know lots of options, right? All these options. Okay, and you're like, you're kinda of feeling rested now, I think, right? Good. I uh, always say in my class, if you feel like you gotta rest, it means something is coming. We are gonna do this for 60 seconds. Ready? Five crunches, go. One, two, three, four, five. Variation one, I'm gonna lift my leg up. One, two, three, four. Back into that crunch. If I want, I can use my elbows. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, I can feel the burn. Four, five, can you feel it? All right, maybe you can twist here. One, two, three, four, legs down, back to that crunch. One, two, three, four, five, your advanced bicycle. One, go down, two, three, good news, 15 seconds left. Two, you're almost there, high feel the burn. Three, do you feel it? Four, and five. Let's finish those bicycles. One, two, three, four. Oh, big stretch right here. Inhale, exhale. Okay, send me some fire. Did your, are your abs on fire? Are your abs on fire? My abs are on fire. Okay, but don't get up yet because now we're gonna stretch this out. We only have a little bit here to stretch. So we're gonna go right here and take that leg out. Turn. Yeah, on fire, right? I see the flames. Inhale, exhale. All right. You guys did great today. Thank you for showing up. If you watched, it's your first step, okay? And then maybe next time you'll do that exercise with us. If you did a little bit with us, you took a little extra step today, 
and you're gonna go right here. If you did the whole class with us and you use some progressions, congrats. Remember, we're all at different spots. You gotta do you. I'm gonna switch this around right here and you gotta get your start. Whether that meant standing with good posture for 30 minutes and watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Good, come up. You can follow me. We train online. We have live and on demand four times a week. And you can train right like this with me or right in studio classes with me. Good, you take that back leg back. Again, go down through your hips first. Walk that up to where you're comfortable. I won't go all the way down because I want to see you and you don't need to see the top of my head. All right, press that down. We're going to take that leg back. Hands on the floor, tabletop position. Press your heels up into that down dog position. Pedaling here. We're going to walk our hands to our feet today. Roll all the way up through our spine. Nice and tall. Remember, we take things with incredible the kickboxing. We take things from different martial arts. We fuse them together. You know, everything blends together, right? Take what's useful, discard what's not. Take a deep breath in. If you need a towel behind your back here, you can. We're gonna bend our knees, fold forward. Now what you wanna do is relax this neck. No tension in it whatsoever. Let all the days, worries and thoughts just go away. You're gonna take a deep breath in. Bend your knees, come up nice and tall. At the end of the class, we go one, two, three. Done. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you love the graffiti. Let me see, I will show you a little bit more of that. Right? All the way there. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow Impact Magazine to Decathlon Canada as they're giving a prize. Comment, tag friends, give you extra energy, energy extra. I would think um, entries, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you so much for joining me. It is always such a pleasure. I hope to you guys connect with me on my platform. Love to connect with you, meet with you, train with you on these mats four times a week. And thank you Impact Magazine for making this possible. Once again, you guys, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and have some fun out there. Mwah! Safe afternoon. Bye-bye.